hey how is it going everybody welcome back to my youtube channel so i'm back again with another vocal coach reaction and analysis video for you guys so today i will be reacting and analyzing to uh, aqua adiba pervin and ali seti episode one cook studio season nine so without any further ado let's just jump right into the video cook studio season nine The song is based on G minor key. Ooh. Yeah, definitely G minor. <laughs> yep, you can hear all those. Uh, you can hear all those uh, minor notes. <laughs> yes, sir. Mm, beautiful, huh? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um. You see there? So he say ah. So there's a B there, which is a major. Ah, rather than ah. So it's like this is what I really like about Indian and Pakistani music is that they mix the major and minor really well, and that that's what makes it really special. Like look at the phrasing. Something like that, I think. Wow. Beautiful. Man. Like I'm still learning this type of music, so forgive me for my mistakes. Wow. mix beautiful like if you compare the two tones you can instantly hear that she has more of a ah, ah, more brassy tone to her voice as opposed to the other singer I think her, uh, Ali Seti uh, Ali Seti Ali Seti yeah um, he has a more like a heady tone ah, but it's still in mixed voice it's not mm -mm -mm, no it's still in a mixed voice it just has like less uh, metal or less brassy quality to the tone and that's really hard to do actually especially for male singers who have like heavier voice steps i mean unless you are like a lyric tenor or a legeria tenor basically very high voice step like you're all this speaking up here hi everybody how you doing people like if you encounter people like that like those they're most likely um legeria or uh, lyric tenors so they have like really high high voice types so like they can do this types of sound really easily and i i don't feel like uh, ali seti is a lyric tenor i think he's more like you know my voice type but hey i could be wrong beautiful oh. 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 their phrasings are only it's, it's, it's so good I mean I gotta listen to it again man. I'm sorry this is more of an analysis video than reaction video so you guys have to understand that I'm a vocal coach I'm gonna give perspective from that I'm not just gonna go oh and make all these weird faces that's not you know my thing but look at the phrasing it's, it's really precise Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> I think those are the five notes that she's singing. It's just very fast. The 
accent has to be very pristine. Like, you know, first, like me, I don't speak Urdu, I don't speak Farsi, I don't speak Hindi, I speak Bengali. Um, the languages are similar, but it's not essentially the same. And, you know, growing up listening to Western music, you know, I was never into, I mean, like, I, I never got drawn into these types of music until very recently, like a few months ago, when you guys suggested me to start reacting to these types of music. And man, these guys are like on a whole another level, like seriously. Like, blessing, man. Really good. <laughs> oh, wow. That was a tougher run. <laughs> nice. He did it he did it in a different way. Like he didn't sing the pay the note. Ba ba ni 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 I think it's kinda like that. <laughs> wow. What 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 instrument is that? Let me know in the comment section. Like tell me about this instrument and um, that other one that I saw. Where is that? That's the bass guitar. Yeah, what is that? Is that a I don't think that's a tabla. It looks like a tabla, but it's not. I mean this the, the one on the right side is a tabla, but this one it has a name. And I think you guys told me that before, but I keep on forgetting. So let me know in the comment section. Beautiful half Wow. C5. Ooh. Beautiful. And, and, you, and did you hear that crack she did? And that crack happens from when you're compressing the chords hard enough but not like killing yourself and then you let go. I can't do it right now, but um, that's that that's a skill in itself. Like if you don't do it, then you're gonna sound like me, which is totally utter crap. <laughs> but yeah. Ooh. Oh, like you can hear that oh in the sound, but it's not too dark. Oh. Oh. Look at the look at the melodic patterns. Oh, beautiful. This song actually sounds f similar. Uh, I mean, I should say familiar. Um, have I have I reacted to this before? I'm not sure actually. Like, you know, ever since I lost my channel, I totally lost track of which videos I did reaction to and whatnot. Like I went to my channel and I saw that I did not do a reaction on this one. So um, maybe, I, maybe I did, maybe I didn't, I don't know. But either way, hey, I don't care. So, but yeah, let me know in the comment section if I did this before. <laughs> This guy is amazing. I mean, wow. Oh, nice. So now you see what's happening there? They're changing the mood. Now it's ah, it's there now, like an A minor kind of thing. It's actually a um, it's Dorian. It's a it's a Dorian A Dorian key scale. Because if G is Ionian. Then A Dorian, yeah. Oh, that's gonna be an A, A4. Ma. 
ماشاءاللہ ماشاءاللہ That type of tone is very hard to control. Like for male singers out there, they will want to belt. They will want to do that, but he's not doing that, my friend. <laughs> That's harder to control, trust me. And let alone sing a phrase like that smoothly. Woo! Really hard. Like, you can actually do a reinforced falsetto and kind of get that sound but it's not the same as the one he's doing because he's actually pulling his chest up there and holding on to that chest compression or chest voice I should say or M1 whatever you want to call nice B4 there are freaking uh it makes me very emotional because <laughs> they're so good at what they do that they do it's called it stems from the it's not no so it has that ooh into the sound and i mentioned that in my other bohu video that i did um earlier um today and um it said ooh like y'all gotta get that vowel down really well making sure the larynx doesn't you know hike up or go too much low it has to stay in the middle you know you can lower the larynx like, to get compression and then eventually get to a more neutral placement which is what they're singing with because that will help a lot with the training ah. beautiful A for at the end nice nice what a good note to finish at so I told you earlier that the song transposed but it didn't transpose like key wise it transposed like the mode transpose so, like the song was based on a G Ionian which is G major and then it went to a A Dorian um, if you guys know what that is <laughs> anyways um, so yeah um, I guess um, that's it for this video so let me go ahead and wrap this video up and then I'll give you guys my analysis and some thoughts okay so um, first of all wow mind-blowing 
And as I said in the middle of the video, I'm not sure whether I've reacted to them before or not, but hey, I don't really care if this is the second or third reaction, so be it. I mean, I don't remember watching this, so I mean, th that's what counts, right? It's almost like I'm doing an initial reaction anyway. So, um, Ali Seti has more of a heady, dominant, mixed voice, keeping the vowel a little bit bright, but not like too, eh, too pingy or too metal in the sound or too squillo however you want to call it, or it doesn't have that brassy quality, like it's more um, ah, rather than ah, do you, do you get what I'm saying? So um, that type of a tone is actually pretty hard to do, especially above the passaggio, especially above the first bridge, so anything above an E4 for males. Um, so uh, amazing, I mean like it's phrasing, I'm not even going to comment on it because that's just absolutely impeccable, it's perfect, the vowels are very nice and it's just beautiful, man. As for the woman, uh, Abida, Abida Barbin, like she, uh, she has a more brassy quality in her speech, but she's keeping that ah oh, ah oh, that ah oh, is keeping that low kind of sigh larynx placement, and um, all of the vowel stems from that ooh ooh. It it does stem from that vowel. Like you can hear that it's not uh, mm -mm, no, so. Um, really good singer phenomenal vocalist i mean mind-blowing i mean these guys are top of the top you know what i mean their melismas bronze ad-libs ragas um phrasing diction everything is just perfect and um if you want to learn how to sing like this like you got to get your technique in place obviously especially when you're going above the passaggio the first passaggio so for males again e4 f4 f sharp 4 if you strain before that then you know um, your voice is just really weak and there's nothing wrong with that you know when I first started singing I would strain at a C4 I would start yelling from a C4 okay so um, yeah this is really good like you know this type of thing like you just have to slow down the phrasing like at the beginning na 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 ah, 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 ah. I, I remember the melody and then you kind of like you have to know what notes they're hitting and singing and then you put the lyrics onto that slowly and then you spin it up. And that's how, you know, that's how most of these guys learn anyway. Like they did not do, I'm pretty sure they did not do mom, 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 mom. <laughs> Maybe they did. But uh, these guys usually learn from more of like the song based perspective, which is where you slow down the song, you sing in the comfortable range, and then you slowly uh, increase the range as you uh, sing the song. So um, yeah, that's also a very good way to kind of like, um, learn how to sing yeah that, that there you go guys that's my reaction and my analysis of aqua and i hope you guys enjoyed my reaction and my analysis because if you did then please pound that thumbs up go ahead and subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't already and then turn on that post notification bell because i will try to upload videos as often as i can for you guys um let me know in the comment section what you guys thought of my reaction and my analysis give me some feedbacks and also if you guys have any more song suggestions that you guys want me to react to then go ahead leave them below you can leave the links that would be better for me and um if you guys have any questions about singing in general or you guys want to take vocal lessons with me then go ahead you can let me know in the comment section about that as well or you can just directly contact me in my fiber account links in the description and uh you can also email me again it's in the description so uh yeah um i guess uh that's it for this video thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one peace